Avery Holmes and, and Matt Glover. Um, they'll, they'll play the majority of the minutes there. Um, because of the matchup against Montana, with Kareem Jamar bringing the ball up so much, we, we had Jumbo guarding him and it just lent itself to uh, more minutes for him. And we needed to get him reps because we needed a backup. Uh, so they'll both play. They'll both play and, and uh, they've both done a really good job. Cool. And, uh, you know, Cruz Pinkins has come up big this year, uh, 2022. Uh, has he exceeded expectations? Uh, we, we, we thought he was a difference maker for us. We, we, we were convinced that that was going to be the case. With him. I, I thought he was uh, not completely locked in tonight, but I don't think, you know, it was an emotional week. You know what I mean? An emotional week uh, and a lot of travels. Physically taxing, then emotionally taxing, a lot of unknowns, uh, then some knowns, and, you know, then there's uh, – um, you know, you go through all the stages, you know what I mean? So it's just been emotional for our guys. And I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm proud that they found a way to get this thing done tonight. And, and, uh, and we move on, you know, but Cruz has been, Cruz, we, we thought Cruz was going to be a difference maker. Uh, he had the benefit that Corey did not have been here for, for some of the summer, which, which makes him a little bit more advanced in terms of what we do. Yeah, uh, you talked early in the year now about Corey, you know, being a little bit behind. Yeah. Um, do you see that he has to take a bigger role now? Uh, now yeah, well, we, we, we felt all along, you know, the, the dominant skill that we saw for our team with Corey, it's not his dominant skill, was guarding the basketball. And uh, uh, I like us defensively now uh, with him out there because he's going to get opportunities now that he wasn't probably with, uh, not as many in terms of with, with you know, Cody uh, being here. And now with him not here, uh, he'll be on the ball more and get a few more opportunities. It was good for him tonight to get 21 minutes and uh, get some get some reps. Cool. Um, and then um, Cole Dickerson now is the only senior. Um, yeah. Do you expect more of him in terms of leadership? Has he taken a bigger role? He has. I mean, he's more of a voice. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be yes, you know. Cody had a pretty dominant voice in our locker room. Um, and, and that's not in Cole's nature. Um, you know, uh, we, we, we had already uh, had Tim uh, with, you know, Matt Glover and, and Tim as well. We wanted, we wanted to have him kind of a four-headed captaincy. Um, so those guys need to have more of a voice as well. You know, but, but Cole, Cole leads by example. And I just told Cole, when any time your, your best player says, we need to pick it up, those other guys are going to listen. You know, when I played with Alonzo Moore and he said, hey, we need to pick it up, we going to argue with Alonzo. I mean, you know, Cole's got to be that kind of guy for us. Yeah, Coach, uh, Cole Dickerson had a nice double-double game as well today. Um, how important is it for him to keep hitting those boards as well as stay involved offensively? Well, we got, well you know, we're going to do things to keep him involved offensively. You know, he, he's, he's a double-double kind of guy. Um, I thought he was pretty efficient, you know, 26 points and 10 rebounds and 25. I mean, that's pretty darn efficient. Um, got a little bit of a foul, foul trouble situation, but, but we're gonna we're gonna do things for our bigs. We feel like we have an advantage. You know, Mark wasn't great tonight, um, but uh, we feel like we have you know three really good bigs in those three, and, and uh, they present a lot of different matchup problems. Last year we felt like we had two. You know what I mean? At the end of the year, now we feel like we have three. Do you, do you foresee using all three of them in a starting lineup? Down yeah, the road? we've talked about that, and, and uh, there were it was in one of our rotation packages tonight to have all three on the floor. It, it's really tough right now because we're having to coach them through games. You know, we went from, you know, the roster changed, right? Um, uh, it didn't change until the day of the game at Montana, so we didn't get any have any chance to get those guys three playing together. Uh, we have a day between Oregon. We weren't going to change a whole lot in our package with Oregon. We come back, we have, uh, you know, what, a day off that we needed a day off. Um, one practice, play again. We have a day off, it's Thanksgiving. So at some point uh, soon, you'll probably see those three guys out there. Now, we need one of our other bigs to step up and be able to play some minutes there as well, whether it be Matt or Talon. We're looking for one of them to step up to, to be able to do that and play all three of them together. Cool. And then, uh, how did the team react when, when they found out the news? I think it's a, a little bit of shock, surprise. Um, those guys are, are uh, they're not you're not you're not brothers. But you're you're pretty darn close. It's it's a there's a bond there, and uh, um, nobody knew what was going on. There there hasn't been any real conversation, quite honestly, uh, with 
with those guys. And with, you know, we've addressed it, we addressed it, um, but so many unknowns. We, we didn't really know uh, finally until uh, yesterday that, that it wasn't coming back. Um, um, so it, it's, it's an emotional time, and, and there is a bomb there, and we've got to move forward. I, I like this team. We've got, we, you know, Maybe we don't have the same type of firepower, but we got firepower. I mean, before the change, we had, I think, five or six guys going in double digits. Yeah. I still foresee that to be something that we can do, uh, you know, three, four, five guys being double digits scored. We're going to do it by committee. Um, last year, we had a lot of young ones figuring out, and one guy sitting out, and now they've all kind of matured. So I think they're excited about it, but, but also, you know, we, we, we still are, you know, closing that book. I think tonight was a, a good step in the right direction of getting some closure. Finally, um, how, you, how this team's going to respond with the adversity now without uh, Cody, um, how they, they move forward and, and start that new chapter with um, how you guys going to, um, if it's going to be a, a, trans, a little bit of transition? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, just like I was saying before, you know, it's, uh, it's been an emotional week. You know, uh, we, we wake up uh, in Montana and we don't know where he is, you know what I mean? And, and uh, um, is he coming back, is he not coming back? Um, what, what are the reasons? We, we, we've got more information on that that we want to keep private. And, and that's, uh, you know, out of our respect for Cody uh, and the Doolins. Um, um, but this was, this was a great step in the right direction. You know, we're, we're not gonna, now we can stop talking about it, at least as a team, we, we want to move forward. We, right. we don't want to dwell on this. Uh, I, I told our guys, and they need to believe me when I say I like our team. You know, I liked our team before. I like our team now. We still got to get better on the defensive end. We still got to rebound the basketball. Um, we've got to understand, you know, shot selection. I thought that we kind of fell in love with trying to be splash city. We're not splash city. We're, we are. We are a defensive mindset. You know. Oh, was that your was that your caption? Is that why? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we don't want to be, you know, like uh, the Clippers. You know, Doc Rivers, the same way. We're, we're <laughs> yeah. So there's got to be a defensive mindset because that's what that's what gives you a chance to win championships. And uh, you know, that's 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 our goal. Our goal is to win championships. It's, people are gonna say, "Oh, it's a big loss," and it is a big loss. Mm. We're pretty good. And one team can't make uh, yeah. one th one no, team. Know, one, listen, one player can't make a break. One team. Parts that's and, right. Right. And, uh, I love that kid, but it's, it's time for us to move on. It's time for us to focus in on this team. We've done a pretty good job of doing it, but, but now there's some closure. Uh, and with each day, uh, we'll get a little bit better at, at that and, and uh, moving forward with this team. Cool. And, you know, there's been a lot of speculation and, and, and negative comments about you as a coach. Yeah. Do you think it helps out that you have so many games in a row, you know, today and then Friday and then Saturday, so that you can, if you get a couple yeah. wins under your belt, that maybe some of this will go away? You no, know, I, I can care less what, what some guy on, on on a computer is writing about me. You know, I mean, I, it, it tickles me. I, I <laughs> it tickles me, you know, because uh, I know what kind of job I'm doing. I know what kind of uh, job our guys do. I push them very hard to be the best that they can be. And this group has responded. This group has responded to that. They work really hard. Um, I don't care if we didn't have games. I mean, it's nice to have this game so soon. Um, but also, as a coach, it's not great because you don't get to get the reps and practice and really watch film and learn from our mistakes. So in that way, it's also bad. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's good to put this thing behind us. People are still going to talk. They, they don't know what they're talking about. We are being completely and totally respectful of, of Cody's situation and how he wants to handle it. He is a USF Don. He'll be a USF Don forever. I have nothing but good things. Uh, for three years, I loved coaching him. I love that young man. Um, I love what he did for this program. He's decided to make a change, and we respect that. You know, he was a man about it with us. He was a man about it, and, you know, we move forward. Yeah, well, when leader list, uh, leaves, someone uh, resurfaces. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think Jumbo's been great. Avery's been great. Cole's been phenomenal. Uh, you know, Tim Dirksen, uh, you know where, what he's going to give you uh, every single day in terms of effort. So, um, and, and Jumbo and Tim, quite honestly, we're taking a little bit more ownership, especially Jumbo. Jumbo had a tough time last year. He was sitting on the side. It's hard, hard to lead. 
But uh, his effort, you know, you have to respect his effort every day, and Tim's the same way. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you.